Hey, welcome back to the channel. We're out front in the front garden. And we're taking a look at all this chamomile, volunteer chamomile. It has gone crazy, to say the least. These are usually where we plant the peas and have the peas crawl up, you know, the inch by inch uh, fencing kind of there, the trellis, or trellis. Uh, but I did want to take a second and show you our peas down here as well. Now, you know, comment below, but I see stuff like this, and I'm going, really, really, you're going to hold hands, you're really going to do that, uh, and I kind of like to do, let me know if you ever help your peas out, but I kind of just like to, you know, shove the pea in there, get that little hoop started on something, like, there you go, grab and climb, you know, this guy's reaching, doesn't know where to go, maybe shove a leaf through, here, 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 yeah, yeah, see, I like to help the peas. I like to help the peas. I got them natural, natural little hooks. Just my camera. You know, get it, whoops, get it hooked on. I don't think that one's strong enough. I get it hooked on, it'll probably fall off, but like there, you're grabbing something. You're on it. Oh, you fell off. Some of them do a nice job of climbing by themselves, but some of them don't, you know. Just, Maybe shove a leaf through so it knows, like, hey, I can grab. Oops, sorry, I'm staring at my arm. Uh, I can grab, you know, through. I got some other little guy growing. I'm not sure what this is. Some kind of natural creeper vine. I might have to get it out of here. Don't know. But let me know down below. You guys, you know, help your peas start climbing. Keep the peas. <laughs> anyway, some of them are grabbing on. Some of them just don't know what to do. They start tangling with each other. It's like, hello, I gave you something to climb on. Uh, when I was out here the other day and doing a little uh, weeding, getting rid of this, getting rid of this little crap. Don't know what that is. I was trying to get rid of it all around. All around. Pull that little sucker out. Oh, little roots. Wish everything else had good roots like that. But I got into over here in front of the volunteer kale and I ripped out a whole row of blue leaf kale. I think I got the dumbass award on that one. But I think it helped the cabbage get some of the stuff out of there that's grabbing all the water. The nasturtiums are coming in over there now in the corner. But having some fun out here. Some of that volunteer lettuce is coming up. We didn't move some of these. We just kind of left them alone. We don't want to move them all. But uh, just out here giving a quick look. Had a crazy day. Uh, I got a call. Pipe in the bathroom under the sink just like exploded. I don't know what that was about. Just cracked. I think it probably when it got installed was uh, was cracked and uh, you know just tightened down too far or something. Eventually, just pressure it gave way and uh, caused a panic situation. I've gotten a few votes. Still looking for votes on seven, six. There's our celery bed. Bed four. Perfect for a climbing variety of something. Uh, but keep the votes coming. Uh, shout out to uh, Rant Wars. Gave me a little love on his channel, Matt Rogers. But uh, give me a little plug and uh, Song Daddy. Stop by and subscribe. Shout out to Song Daddy and hope he's doing better. Uh, had some health issues, so. 
prayers out to you, Song Daddy, but uh, if you guys haven't stopped by, look for Rant Wars. It's a little fun thing. You can come on, do a rant, do a rave, and uh, and have some fun. You know, get something off your chest. You don't have to be offensive to anybody. Just, uh, just have some fun. Blow some steam. You can vote on people ranting against each other, but enough of that. Just... Uh, had a good time before I got home. Checked in on the uh, garden activities. Now that's what's going on here in the front bed. This chamomile is suffocatingly ridiculous. Look at our peas down here. Grabbing on. Come on, peas, climb up. They're kind of just waiting to climb. Supposed to get a lot of good sunshine today. Or not today, sorry. This weekend, almost 90. Hoping things just take off. Uh, Got to get the fan back out to the greenhouse. We borrowed it to kind of air out the uh, bathroom under the sink. Got really wet. Water went down the drain or down the uh, HVAC ducting. So kind of doing some damage control. Just wanted to come out and do a quick little video on what we did out front. Cleaning the bed up. I accidentally took a little too much. Uh, just showing you the peas, you know, how would I like to do to the peas? Leave those comments, share, like, subscribe, and vote for those beds, four, six, and seven out front here. Let me know what we should grow. I think we're gonna, you know, I was calling these the Nolan beds, my youngest, because he was helping me do the butter knit or butter leaf volunteer lettuce that we found. Then the celery, he's already said. You know, cauliflower over here, those starts are uh, in the big hoop house, coming up nicely. He said raspberries here may go back or forth uh, if the raspberries or whatever. But I think we'll rename these maybe the, uh, the Mark Ingleson Channel YouTube beds. And once something is done, we keep putting the vote out there or we go to the next crop that was voted for and keep doing that. And a little hint, I think uh, jalapenos are uh, leading the way on the boats, so get the boats coming. Over here in these two original climber beds, we did tomatoes last year, but that is three different watermelons. One, two, three, and one zook, just to do something else out there. There's a lot of videos about crop rotation. A piece of grass I'm going to get out of here. Yeah, we don't want that. Uh, a lot of videos about crop rotation, like say you do tomatoes in the bed once one year, if they're nitrogen rich or something like that, what they put back into the soil. So the next year you might not do tomatoes because they used up all of the nutrients that they want, be it nitrogen or some other, you know, phosphorus or something like that. So you might do another crop that doesn't uh, use the same kind of nutrients, but maybe those nutrients are left over by the previous crop and uh, so they call that crop rotation and uh, so you rotate crops in different beds you know lettuce here we'll scrub that maybe we do carrots next or something haven't researched the zucchini watermelon thing wasn't anything that we uh, researched uh, or went oh yeah we need to do watermelons here just kind of like spur of the moment we had the starts going trying different things in different beds but we should be doing that research then we get a lot more return maybe on the next uh, fruit or vegetable that we're uh, planting. So that's what's going on, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for tuning in.